one life. Learn all of that, but don't know what they mean. Just learn them from where they are on the diagram. They give us the same diagram. I'm trying to get my head down before I come in. Of course, I don't know why it's going to be. It's going to be easy. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new day in the life of me. Today it's cold and wet and rainy outside. And I'm going back to my house just briefly. I've just been doing some statistical stuff for one of my assessments. Um, because Ellie left her plates at home after our curry yesterday. So, uh, I need to go take them up to hers. Then I'm gonna go back in and do some more work because basically what I've realized, my mates are doing one assessment. Shut up. Um, no, go go save someone. Um, they're doing an assessment that I wasn't going to do until like the weekend when I'm at home. But I figured if they're just doing it now, I'll do mine now and it means I can spend more time on my project plan. So that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> yeah, it's really wet and rainy and I'm out of breath. <laughs> just by walking, walking along uh, but like I'm feeling in the mood for doing lots of work today which is great and if I get this done then that's like a third of my assessments done yeah a third that's a lot oh, so much data What's going on? Finish my conversation and just left halfway through. Oh, nice okay. one, dude. Yeah, um, I haven't really vlogged all day, I've realised. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, basically... So, just quickly, do they take new pound coins? Yes, they do take new pound coins in the trolleys at Asda. Um, yeah, I, I started today uh, at 11 o'clock and it's currently nearly 6 o'clock. And I really haven't been vlogging much. Basically, I've had a bunch of computer practicals um, and then time in between that and the two-hour lecture I just had. Um, I just spent doing my assessments uh, and I'm going to be in the library tonight <laughs> doing more assessments. So um, I'm being productive, but it's not very good for the vlog. Um, we're going to go shopping for Ellie basically now. I'll get a few things, but I'm only here for four more days uh, until I go home at the weekend. So I'm not going to need much food. Uh, but you're going to want loads. Yeah. Look at my face. It's all white. La 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 la. Oh, there you go. Oh no, we can't do that on the vlog, can we? You told me not to. You can see why I love her. <laughs> Guy has like black lines on it, it looks like Stranger Things. <laughs> Sam started watching it actually. Oh, yeah. He says it's really good. <laughs> and obviously he loves Hopper. Aww. He's just a babe. But now, got our shopping and let's go take it back home. Right, Ellie's gonna give us a taste test review of this vegan white, white chocolate, chocolate egg. She's just gonna, okay. How would you get into it? Uh, uh, to be honest, yeah. If you're gonna put it back in the box, just do it like that. Come on, big strong teeth. Use those front teeth, <laughs> like I can't. <laughs> Is it nice? Tastes nice, the bits I've shaved off, yeah. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah? No? I can't get in. Do you want to hammer it? Oh. oh I heard that. Oh, there you go. Mm. How's that? Really nice. Is it? That's good. You're going to have to get more. Oh. <laughs> Taste test review. Uh, random number between 1 and 35. What? Out of? No, just random number. I'd say 30. So out of 30. Oh, I went out of 30. No, you, you pick the number and then you do out of that. <laughs> Don't eat too much of it now. 26, 27. Wow, that's high. It doesn't really taste like white chocolate. Does it not? Can I try a little bit? You should have more than that. Though. That's really weird. It doesn't taste like it, does it? It tastes, like it. it tastes like the chocolate you get on the outside of fab lollies. Do you think? Yeah, like the chocolate, the tiny bit of chocolate icing uh, like you get on the top. Mm. It tastes like that, but it's white. It's nice. I don't think I could eat loads of it. Like compared to like uh, milky bar chocolate, it's no nowhere like in the same league. But it's nice and like oh, it's I vegan, it's so it's good. good. Uh, I'd give that at 27, probably 20. No, it's, it's all right. 
Oh. It wasn't that same song, it was that was first. No, but I changed it. It's meant you meant to oh. change it every time. She obviously doesn't know the rules of. Oh, sorry, I just don't watch the video. The uh, plan now is to get my stuff ready, and I'm going to go to the library and do more work. Um, basically, I want to finish up the work I was doing today, so that it makes it a lot easier for me to do my project plan. So, yeah, fun. Well, um, that plan fell through. Apparently, um, we're not going to the library today to work. So instead, I'm just going to do my report. Uh, not my report, my project plan. Uh, which I really didn't want to do today because I wanted a break from it, but I'm going to have to. Yay! I'm not going to the library, I feel like I'm deserving the jacket potato or two. Got a couple to use up, so I'm going to make them. I'm going to have that with some nice salad and tuna and sweet corn. Mm. So I've just seen on Twitter that as of today, Mauricio Pellegrino is no longer the Southampton manager. And I have a number of views on this. The first is that I do feel like it's the right decision. Um, we just haven't. We, he hasn't been decisive enough, uh, and he he's been playing the wrong style for too long with one striker, and then only playing two strikers when really it's too late to do anything about it. And to be honest, he he didn't work with our team. He didn't produce the results. He kept playing the wrong players. Um, it's just yeah, I think it's the right decision. But more importantly, uh, on the contrary to me thinking he should be fired. I, I think it's much too late to do it. I, I think it's too much of a risk. Now, he's been pulling in, like, regular, like, one point. Like, regular draws or semi-regular draws. I know the match of the weekend was awful. 3-0 loss to Newcastle. But I kind of think that it's too late to make this big decision. I mean, obviously, if we can pull it off and get a manager and somehow, suddenly, pull out loads of good results... Um, then obviously I'm gonna be gonna applaud the uh, like Les Reed and everything, but I don't really see why we've left it this late. Pellegrino hasn't been like decisive enough for a long time. Like obviously we're we're struggling in the league really badly, and I don't know why it's taken so long for this decision to be made. And and it does feel like it's too late. Um, and I I feel bad for all the fans who've been constantly saying that he should be fired, and it just hasn't happened until now. Where we've got so many big games coming up against big clubs, um, and we're now just going off on a on a whim, basically that like we don't know what's going to happen, and we're being even less uh, confident about it now that we don't have a manager technically. So I I just feel like it might be too late to <laughs> to make this big decision, and obviously I can't comment on why the team. Well, why the governors took so long to decide this? I don't know why they t they took so long to decide this. I feel like it should have been decided a long time ago. But um, but anyway, uh, I'm just I'm not sure what Southampton are gonna do. Um, hopefully we can somehow pull out a good manager, uh, like pull it out of the bag, somehow stay up this season. Uh, but to be honest, with the the risks that come with now, we've got like we're most of the way through the season. We've now got like a couple of not a couple of games, but like. Not that many games, really, to secure our promotion. A lot of them are hard games. I feel like it's quite risky to play into the hands of a new manager. But, you know, I can't do anything about it, can I? Uh, so, I'm just going to have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad he's been fired. But I feel like it's too late. But you know, we'll see, won't we? We'll, we'll see. In some, we'll go down! No, I can't see. It is to be done, but I think they might be ready now. I've waited for an hour and 15 minutes, uh, so they should be done. I'm going to go have a look because I'm so hungry. First you get the potatoes, then you get the tuna. Finally you get the salad, but make sure you put some balsamic on it. There you have it, one dinner fit for a king. I'm going to curl up, watch Jessica Jones, and destroy this monstrosity. Um, I'm about to go to bed, but I may have a bit of a problem. So, I don't normally eat salad. Um, when I'm with my family, or uh, like on holiday and stuff, my mum make, will make a daily salad that can feed five people. Like, every single day. It's amazing, and, and it just, it, it's so good. We always have, like, croutons that mum makes, uh, because we, we buy a lot of bread as a family that doesn't all get eaten, so mum turns it into croutons, and then we get a load of balsamic vinegar, and just, oh, it's, it's just incredible. And I don't eat that much. When I'm well, I'm well salad. I don't eat salad much when I'm not at home. But I bought salad today because it was really reduced, uh, like it was it was like thirty five p, 
I realised I can't really eat that tomorrow. And I had some with my jacked potatoes, obviously. And um, there's a lot left. So I may have just gone back into the kitchen. There's a bit. There's, I, I filled the whole bowl. I filled the whole bowl. Look at that. That's a fuckload of salad. Like, I'm, I'm an idiot. It looks shiny, right? But it's only shiny because I put a balsamic vinaigrette on it. Because, obviously, that just makes salad so much better. But, like, I feel like I've got my, a bit of a problem. So I'm, I'm, like, settling down to go to sleep now, watching some videos. Pretty much, like, about to sleep, and I've just made myself a massive bowl of salad. Yeah. I'm a mess. But, to be honest, guys, I'm going to eat my salad, and I'm going to be crashing off to sleep. Because I've got a really early start. I've got 9, nine till 10 tomorrow, and then nothing. So, uh, I need to be up early. Um, and then the rest of the day I'll just be doing work. But um, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, and you'll see me every single day for stupid daily antics, such as, uh, I'm not going to do that every day. I'm not doing that every day. But maybe every other day. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next daily video. And yeah, thank you for watching my life. I know there's not many of you, but it's really nice to see that people, you know, care. So, till next time. Bye. <laughs> I was going to say something funny, but I couldn't think of anything funny. That's just the story of these vlogs. Bye.